In today's video, let's talk about China's advanced farming systems applied in Africa. Hi, good day to everyone, this is Arthur and of course this is Richard Agner and we are here again today to give you another wonderful video. But before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and smash the bell icon for you to always be updated with our new videos. China and Africa have collaborated on agriculture for 60 years. China began by providing grants and loans then cooperation gradually expanded to a wide range of activities, including trade and investment. And recently, China has doubled down on its Africa investment. So today, in this video, you will see 7 examples of how China has unveiled advanced farming system in Africa. And without wasting any more of your time, alright, let's begin with our number 1. Number one is Chinese agricultural enterprises help boost Nigeria food supply. In Nigeria, there are over 30 million hectares of farmland under cultivation season to season fall is substantially short of the estimated 78.5 million hectares of land that is required for farming to feed Nigeria's growing population. Nigeria has been struggling to ensure its food secure. Farmers are unable to produce enough to feed the country's huge and growing population. But the use of agricultural technology could help mitigate against food scarcity risks. A number of agricultural enterprises from China are investing in Nigeria and the impact on rice production is already being felt. Number two is Chinese farmer reaps big from growing olives in South Africa. Millions of South Africa use olive oil. Most of it's imported, though but a Chinese farmer has been growing olives in the country for decades and he is now reaping the benefits. The primary olive producing areas in South Africa are in the Karoo region of the Western Cape, which boasts favorable conditions and climate for olive growing with winter rainfall and a dry summer. Number three is Chinese farmers toil in Africa. The 56-year-old Kao Hoi Jong and other eight colleagues decided to come to Kinshasa to look for business opportunities in the last few years. On one occasion, they took over a local farm. The farm is renamed Friendship Farm and offers more than 30 jobs to locals. Number 4 
Number four is Chinese technology investments boost African farms. With help from the Chinese government, many Chinese companies have built large farms and farming technology demonstration centers across Africa. In order to guarantee the food supply and speed up their agricultural development, many African countries are hoping to expand cooperation with China. Number 5 is first Chinese-sponsored agriculture training held in Nigeria. A Chinese multinational group of companies kick off a company building training for Nigerian agricultural technicians. In an effort aimed at promoting integrated agricultural technology in a West African country, This is the first time that China-sponsored agricultural training courses have been held in Nigeria. Number 6 is China invest millions in Zambia's farming sector. In Africa, agriculture has been identified as a prior development area in the China-Africa Strategic Partnership. In its unwavering pursuit to mechanize Africa's agriculture and find new markets for its own companies, China looked upon farming proficiency as one of its first exports to Zambia. China has invested in several African nations, including Zambia. Number 7 is China Zimbabwe joint venture paves way for improved farming. Zimbabwe's land reform program handed thousands of peasant farmers large tracts of land. But many lack the capital, equipment, or know-how to fully utilize it. That retarded the country's economy and reduced it from being a breadbasket to a net importer of food. But an unlikely source is providing inspiration in Chinhoi, in the country's Mashona Land West Province. And so that's all there is to it for today. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe and share this with others. Once again, this is Arthur and Richard Aguilar here. 
Thanks for watching and see you next time.